breaking news in Hollywood. A fire crew had to be taken to a hospital and residents had to be rescued, as you can see here, after a home exploded in flames. NBC4's Bailey Miller is live on the scene with the very latest now this morning. Bailey. Hey, good morning to both of you. So we are in a neighborhood off of Sunset Boulevard in Cherokee, and right here behind me, you can see the mess that is this house. Now the fire has been put out, but you can see it is completely damaged inside. It's completely charred. Everything is black. When you also look at the roof there, you can see it's caved in. Fire captain told me that on the other side, it's an open hole. So this is a pretty extensive fire and it was pretty dangerous also for crews. We do know two people were inside at the time. One person, trans both of them transported to the hospital. One person is in grave condition. We also know four firefighters were sent for observation. I want to introduce Captain Adam Van Gerpen. Talk a little bit about this fire. You also are going to show me what you guys had to fight through to get there. Talk about what happened here today. Yeah, so this morning at 331, our firefighters were dispatched to smoke in the area. So they were able to locate the house that was on fire. When they arrived on scene, they found a single family home with heavy smoke showing. So there was also a, a patient at the front door who was trying to get out. So this is what they encountered. This is a security door that is latched from the front and from the back. So our firefighters had to use our rotary saw forcible entry equipment to rapidly uh, make entry and make a, a rescue uh, inside this fire. So once uh, they, they pulled the first person out, they started giving medical care to them from uh, smoke inhalation from being trapped inside the fire. So they then proceeded down the hallway and they found another person down uh, and that was in grave condition. They were able to rescue that second patient, bring them out onto the front lawn and start working on the patient. Our firefighters then went back inside after those two patients were, were transported to the hospital and they met flashover conditions inside there. These flashover conditions dropped them to the ground. The entire home uh, spontaneously ignited when it reaches flashover conditions. And uh, a mayday call went out. And as, as soon as, pretty much as soon as the mayday call went out, the tone, alert tones were initiated. The firefighters were able to back out, make their way out. So we had a total of four firefighters that were transported to the hospital. Uh, one had burden injuries to his ear. Uh, the, uh, the rest are all going to be okay, and they've all been released at this time. So we had two patients from inside that were rescued and transported to the hospital, and four firefighters were transported. But this, this shows how important it is for uh, our, our firefighters to be well-versed on forcible entry and to make sure that our equipment is always working. And uh, also, this, this can be dangerous if it's a double lock from both sides. So they had to have a key in order to get out of their home. We're so thankful to hear those firefighters are going to be all right. But like you just mentioned, I mean, talk about how everything needs to go perfect for you guys because you're battling so many elements on top of trying to get in the house. Yeah, so that's that's why as firefighters, we train every single day. We test our, our tools and equipment every single day, and we have to be very proficient because lives are on the line when we get there, and we never know what we're going to encounter. And if your equipment's not working, it can cost a life. So that's why we always always train every single day. Thank you so much, Captain. I appreciate it. So just to recap a little bit, two people sent to the hospital, one person in grave condition, four firefighters also sent for observation, but they're going to be OK. What's going on right now? The investigation arson trying to figure out exactly what causes fire. And then, of course, now it's cleanup time here reporting live here in Hollywood. I'm Bailey Miller. I'll send it back to you. Fascinating insight uh, with that interview, Bailey.